This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everyone. So, anyone out there in this batch who has to give an Excel exam, you can let me know. After the class, in case if you are still have to give, if you have to give an exam after the class, you can give no problem. Okay. Am I audible to you, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, in last class, we have discussed about the, about this accounting part. If in case anybody has a doubt regarding accounting, you can ask me. If not, let me know whatever the doubts you have. First, we will discuss this, then we will go for SAP. Response me, any doubts? Yes, no, say something. In case if you have a trouble in unmuting and replying again, muting it, then at least put it in a chat box. <clears throat> no doubts, ma'am. Good. So only one response, fine. So what we are going to discuss today is what is SAP. We will discuss what is SAP. So SAP, which means it is a SAP, System Application in Data Processing, System Application Product, System Application Product in Data Processing. Now, what does this SAP stands for? So we came to know that it is System Application Software. So system means the place where we start using our records. That is, the, uh, it is a device where we start working on it. Okay. Then, what is this application? So, it is a product. It is a software. System application. That is a software with through which we record all the transactions or records of our company. Okay. So, system application product in data process. It is an application software, software that is used for recording data. So data processing means it is used for recording the data entries. Data entries means it is not the simple one. It means here in terms we call it as recording the data structures. Data entries means accounting transactions. Okay, accounting transactions that is used here. Okay, when it is accounting transaction, then you also say that we are using this SAP, okay, SAP software. It is also called as ERP software. SAP software is also called as ERP software. Why it is called as ERP? Okay, before we know, understand about why it is ERP, let me ask you, what is ERP? You would have already uh, realized or you would have heard about this word ERP. Can someone say? Um, according to me, just it is related to some tally thing. I don't know the full form. It is related to tally. You mean the tally software? Yes. Okay. Any others? Okay, ERP means where all the facilities we get. Okay, all the facilities where we get. So it is ERP. ERP means Enterprise Resource Planning. ERP stands for Enterprise. Resource planning. When we say about this, first 
what do you mean by e so e says that it is an enterprise enterprise means enterprise means company right it is a company a company or a institution or uh, it is a building you can say it is a building it is a factory where all the work carries right where all works taken place Right. Okay. If I have to continue, if I have to do my work, if I have to run my business, right? If it is a business, so if I have to run a business, what I need? I need a resource. What are these resources? I need three M's, which means first it is a man. We require a man. What man? That means we need an employee. we need an employee to work in a company it can be any designation it can be in a admin uh, say admin accountant uh, sales department okay sales department or hr department housekeeping department security department anything so any work that they are doing we need something called as man manpower we need it without manpower we cannot run the business right we need a manpower that is a people to work in a company then what we need another m that is material man is required to run a business so material material it can be a goods when i say about the goods the goods can be a raw materials semi finished goods finished goods are the final product which i am going to buy or sell right we buy a raw materials manufacture it sell it as a semi finished goods or sell it as a finished goods anything when i buy something sell something goods right it can be a goods or either a services which we provide to others that is a material if i have a man and material if i have a man to give us something man will work when only when he gets a package that is a salary and materials if i have to buy or sell also i need another m that is money without money we cannot run anything right i need a cash i need a bank balance only then we can run the business so that is what enterprise resource we have running a business in the business we have to plan next one we have to plan plan what the how we are going to use all this three options how we are going to use all this three options man material and money if i'm using anything i must know how to allocate this excuse me sorry so now if i have this man right i have a man i have a material i have a money now how to allocate this how to use this where to use this all these things i have to plan so that is what we call it as erp it is not only related to this three things the main motive of using erp package right erp package or you can say it as erp software 
when we say it as ERP package or software, it means we can use for all the purpose in one place, which means say we have many, we have many accounting softwares in industries. Accounting software means that is used for recording accounting transaction. The old traditional method is what where we used to keep bookkeeping. Bookkeeping we used to do. That is, we will record all the books of entries, every transaction in our book. Then we will prepare ledgers balance to find what is the closing balance. Then I'll prepare a trial balance. All this thing, a traditional method where we used to record in my books. But insert, we use now a technology using a software where we can update all the business activities in a software. So when we say about the software, every accounting package, every packaging that is a software doesn't provide you everything on the business requirement. Few software will provide only related to accounts. Account that is only buying and selling. What about the manufacturing? I have a factory. I place an order. I have a contractors. I buy a goods. So two situations. Say example, I have let, let me uh, give you one by one example. First one, only trade I do. Only trade in the sense, we only buy and sell. We only buy and sell the goods, right? So only for this, we need a software. There is something where I buy a raw materials. I buy a raw materials, then manufacture it. Okay, after buying a raw materials, I manufacture the goods. After manufacturing, then I sell. When I sell it, it can be a finished goods or semi-finished goods. To do this, I need a factory. So what are the transactions that I need to do for a factory? Buying of raw materials, using of uh, labors, additional products. So here I may get the two things. I have a byproduct, byproduct and then co-product. Co-product, byproduct means, uh, see, I have to manufacture one product from that one product, I get many uh, other uh, goods. Say now we have only milk. Out of well, uh, milk, we can uh, extract butter. We can do curd. We can ex uh, do paneer. We can do uh, cheese. We can do uh, ghee. So from one product, we get multiple product. Multiple product. That is called as byproduct. Co-product to manage manufacture one product I have to add another product plus one more product now uh, say example uh, we get a raw gold raw gold from the from the earth we extract it but when we make a jewelries this uh, gold will not be that much strong to with all the designs or the jewelries when we make so they burn to make it strong they'll be adding the other one copper Copper will be added along with that. So that is what we say it as 24 karat, 18 karat gold. That means 18% of gold will be there. I mean, out of 18%, like uh, take it as 100%. In that 100%, like 20%, 30% will be a copper added. So based on that, you will be getting a gold. So additional product, when you are getting a additional product goods, Right. Additional product added is called as co-product. Then from one product, multiple product when you get doing it, right? When you're getting multiple goods. So then we call it as byproduct. Like this, whenever I do, so I need uh, I need to update all these details in a software where I am going to manufacture this this product out of this to manufacture one product how many raw materials is required how many labors is required how much fuel will consume how much additional activities i'm doing so out of this after manufacturing i spent so much money say 20 rupees i spent after adding this labor cost factory cost fuel manufacturing all this cost and all finally all this additional cost how much i got say 20 rupees i made so additional cost became 10 rupees after manufacturing the product cost is 30 rupees so like this all these things also has to be recorded then 
third one if in case i am not uh, manufacturing no manufacturing okay but i buy the raw materials after buying the raw materials uh, i'll give to other person give to another person right give to another person who is having a factory because i don't own a factory i give this raw materials to the person one who is having a uh, another person who is having a factory so this person will manufacture for me he will manufacture and give it to me for manufacturing i'll pay him a money then i will be making a sales so this method and other than this trade only we have the other departments for accounts we have we have a uh, the people one who is planning for the project we have a people who plan for the project right like a building contractors which product which places which project is running so project we have and we have a uh, hr department hr department we have and security department we have like this there are many departments to do all this transaction in one place it is very very difficult we cannot do all this in one software so to run all these activities to use uh, a common software instead of buying a different product for uh, recording the goods buying and selling one software again for manufacturing one more software for accounting another software hr department to maintain the payroll activities another software like this instead of maintaining multiple software right multiple software i can use one single software right so that software where i can use all the activities in one place we call it as erp are you uh, like is everyone clear is any uh, like if you have any doubts you can tell me so this is how our erp software is enterprise resource planning means we don't have to buy a different software for each and every activities all these things will be supported in one single software that is called as erp if anybody has a doubt in this understanding of erp you can let me know <clears throat> See there, we have only six to seven people here, right? At least response me. No doubt, sir. Good. So others will not answer, I think, other than Amrita. Okay, so this is how we say. So SAP is a software that is used mainly in a business and current scenario. Why? To increase, to increase the difference how to use the ERP systems, and this is why we are using this ERP. ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. How you are going to use this? So that the name itself says that we are integrating what many procedure in single system. ERP. It is a combination of finance, supply chain. Supply means buying and selling. Procurement. Procurement means the planning. Planning for uh, supplying of goods. Okay. How we are planning this? Then manufacturing. HR services. Okay. HR services for creating a business related planning. All this planning will be handled in one single work. one single work by a business owner in one single software that is erp software where all these activities we can do in one place so that is what we call it as erp software okay so who has developed this the owner of erp the founder of erp that is sap sap founder so there are five people of this erp okay so this are ditmat ditmar hop Also, Platner, Class Tija, Anz Vanner, Ector, Class Vanner Ruther. Okay, these are the five peoples who has developed SAP software. Who has developed SAP software? So these five people are from German. They are from the German. Okay, these people were working in IBM company. 
after quitting the job from that is after the retirement or after quitting this IBM. So we say it as former employees of IBM. These are farmers, former employee of IBM. They invented this SAP as what for enterprise software where it develops the people to use this. So since these people are from German, the headquarters of SAP is also located in German. Okay, it is also located in German, in Waldruf, German. Okay, so here SAP, <coughs> SAP, the software, okay, so it is the, located in, the headquarters is located in Waldruf, German. Okay, these are the people who has invented it. <coughs> okay, these are the five peoples who have invented it. So it was invented on 1st of April, 1972. 1972, okay. Who are the founders? These are the five peoples, okay. As I said you, the five peoples after quitting the job, that is the farmer employees of IBM. So these are the five employees who are a founder. So on 1st of April, 1972, five former employees of IBM the five people started a company started a company for what for fifth system analyzing program development so that is what now it is called as system analysis program development now it is called as actually this is a word system analysis programming tickler something so this is a german language what does it stand uh, means is system analysis and program development what was the motive of developing this so for creating a standard application software for real-time business. Real-time business means where we can use in actual business running process. And this is where we will be using this in our companies, where all these things as an ERP software, we will be using here. Okay, so SAP is a business model. Why we say it as business model? As I said to you, ERP, where we use for multiple purpose. We, we use for multiple purpose, multiple departments, multiple activities, where I can use one software for recording all the records, right? All the transaction records, information, everything can be done in one place. So that is what this software was been developed. So in this, SAP, we have a two business models that is uh, business model is functional models and technical models, functional models and technical models. So what does this functional models means? Functional model means uh, there will be two peoples, right? Okay. Uh, before I explain you this, let me tell you how this process will take place. Now, I have a, a I am a SAP. Okay, I have a SAP company. Okay, now in this SAP company, there are two uh, things where we can do. As I said you, we are doing trade all these things. So this and all is a recording of activities. Recording means it is functional. What happens in my business is that is what I'm recording here. Functional activities. functional activities which means so I can do financial that is money and I can control how the money comes and how the how money goes financial and controlling and then material management buying uh, raw materials manufacturing production uh, byproduct co-product all these activities in one place where I can record okay so when I say about accounts it is FICU material management PP procurement planning that is how to buy when to buy when the market price will come down what is the uh, product cost what is the project cost how much it will cost when to buy it all this planning they will be doing it and then SD sales and distribution you have a material management buying and manufacturing then you are planning a purchases that means now after purchases after manufacturing what i have is 
sales how to say uh, sell the goods to whom and all i have to distribute where are the wholesalers where are the retailers how to sell to these people how to distribute the goods to these people so this thing happens in the sales and distribution then comes the hr department that is hr where how the payroll what is the salary we have to pay what are the deductions we have like esi pef all those activities so these things and all recording of how much salary it is it has to be paid how much loan has to be deducted how much tax has to be deducted how much salary has to be paid how many leaves has been taken how much leave can be paid all these activities will be done in your hr so all these activities is recording we are updating a data entries but to record all this uh, data entries we need one more support that is technical support right so we need a uh, technical activities this technical activities we call this as two options we have abap and basis so what is this this is a coding okay one who updates the coding in a soft that means they use a coding languages or the softwares to develop these things to develop this things how it has to function how fico will function how mm will function how pp will function okay now i said i am a sap company there is a, another person comes to me one of my client say example you are my client you are already running a business now you are using some other software now you want to go with the sap software so you have to know how to use this sap software so that means based on your business requirement based on your business requirement i will design all this activities using this software using this technical technical terms so that is what we call it as technical models and functional models so in a functional we have fi co mm sd hr and pp at the same time we also have technical that is abap and basics okay so let me know if at all you want to make a note of this points you can tell me because i'm just doing i'm just continuing with the introduction part i'm not giving any hint also can you show me what ma'am can you show the previous slide once this no, one functional yeah functional activity uh, no. this is the functional activities the same thing it is an image so don't worry it is same thing i have to remove this image so don't consider it so this is the options this one okay sap so first thing let me tell you what are the terms that is important in this so sap what is the full form of sap system application product and data processing this is important because you may have one question on this the full form what is erp ERP full form also, so enterprise resource planning full form, and you have to understand what it is. Okay, and third one, the founder. I don't think so. You will get the names of the founder, but you will have an option when it was been founded. So first of April nineteen seventy two, nineteen seventy two by IBM former employees. This question you will have. Then business Some model. What ma? April first, first of April, nineteen seventy two. April first, nineteen seventy two. This question you have. Yeah. Okay. Next one. so business model you don't have a question but you must know this what is functional model what is technical model because we are working only an fico that is uh, fico we are trying so we don't have any question related to functional model or technical model but you may be asked the full form of this so full form of what is fi what is co full form might be asked okay so you can uh, take a screenshot of this then you can make a note of it done with this then i'll go for the next screen so this one technical abap advanced business application program basis business application software integrated solutions so this full form will be asked okay so i'll come to this r3 architecture later before that 
this is nothing but the history atri architecture is nothing but the history how this uh, sap took place the development of the software till today how it came across so that is what so i was saying that who are the founders all these things so who is the current ceo of sap ceo of sap is christian lenin okay christian lenin this is the current ceo from when from 10th of october 2019 and say i said you that there is a um, sap headquarters located in german but do you know where this research and development of sap happens so research and development of um, sap happens in bangalore <coughs> india so you can see here the founder that is we founded a lab in india as sap's r and d research center largest research center okay this research center is located in bangalore okay this is the address okay this is the address it is located in whitefield research company and there is one more company uh, i think it is it is near belandur belandur uh, if you know about the eco space company eco space tech park here it is located near that okay and what will be the highest salary see the highest salary is 8.3 lakhs per year okay and every and the top is 10% employees earn this much money okay these are the things which happens in sap okay we have a research development company in sap for that sap we have a com where it is located it is located in india but so you may have one question on this research and development uh, development center is located in bangalore india okay headquarters is located in us uh, sorry uh, german okay so this is what you have to remember <coughs> then i'll come to this then i'll explain you about the r3 architecture so it says that it is accelerated s a s a p accelerated s a p accelerated s a p met road map that means road map what it is happening here accelerated method means first we have a project preparations so what is this project preparations so i have to come with the same example what i gave you we have here two people so let's take it here as client or you can say this as sap user he is going to be a user he is not yet user he is going to be a user and we have another person sap company sap company we have two person now what we will do here is there is a person one who might be he has already started a business or he wants to start a business anything now what he will do is since he, he already like having a company 
in that company is using some accounting or it is a new company for its company you wants to use sap what you need to use sap to use this sap what he will do he will approach okay he will approach whom this sap company saying that we need to use sap in his system approach sap company so i'm just giving a short form sap company is approaching now after approaching this sap company what this people will do sap company will collect the details collect details which details it will collect they will collect what is the company is into that means if you are running a business what you are doing are you manufacturing are you doing the trade only sales you are doing any projects or what you are doing how we are doing all this business details business details which are the departments they have how it will function right how it is going to function all this details this sap company will will collect right they will collect all the business details department details function details and why they are collecting this after collecting this right after collecting the information i'm going with the short forms if you are not understanding please let me know after collecting the information what they will do they will uh, realize it okay they will realize it what they are realizing okay if this is what the details of the company now what are the uh, features or what are the things that i have to support support means which are the options we have to do whether we have to give a support for fi mm pp which conditions which it has to be added or some other additional features we have to introduce into that in between this how it is required so this features they will understand after understanding now what they will do they will create create a structure so we can say the structure as a blueprint blueprint before creating a blueprint what these people will do is that is sap sap will come to your company that is clients company they will see what is the company is into how much space it is occupied where is the accounting section where is the hr department how much the amount of transaction that may take place what uh, to which extent they will do a business do they have a manufacturing unit if they have a manufacturing unit that is productions where they are doing a production are they doing in the same place or in some other city how this raw material comes whether it comes into a cargo or that is ship flight rail somewhere how it is coming all this details after collecting they will prepare this blueprint once the blueprint is prepared then they will go to this client person they will go to client person to inform them what they have done what are the details as they collected what they have prepared in a blueprint so they will submit this blueprint okay so submit means they'll show how to show what are the blueprints they have created what it is there in that these are the things they will be explaining explain about it so when they explain it this client user has to understand it is not only explaining to this client person that is sap user or not only for that person might be that person is having the shareholders investors uh, debenture holders right we will have so many people investor we have shareholders we have capital holders we have so like this, so many people will be there who has invested the money in a company we have to discuss along with them so once this blueprint is done we will go and show them this is what we have allocated the place the money the software how it is going to work all the things we have to show them explain them if they are fine then we will go into execution might be they may have required if uh, this client ask you for some changes changes they are asking you so that means 
some changes in software, some changes, some additional things which has to be done. So this has to be added to your software, where to a SAP. After doing this, after doing this only, we will start using this. We will start to use this. After changes, we will start to use SAP. We cannot buy directly SAP. Okay, these are the process that will take place. Okay, for a company, for a company, not for an account, for the company. Now, what did I say? We are a client. That means we there is a client who approves SAP. So to use what? To use a SAP. When he approaches SAP, then what we call it here as okay. So we say it as the after approaching, they will collect the basic information about the company. This information what they are collecting is called as project preparation. So first step where SAP company collects the details about the uh, business regarding the departments, functions, all the teamwork. So after all this collection of information, we call it as project preparations. Once this is done, then the next step is what they are doing. They will realize the features, understand what is the situation, what are the structures they need, what are the departments they need, how to navigate all these things they will be doing in a blueprint. Blueprint is a second stage. Okay. One second. Excuse me, sorry. So blueprint, we are preparing. So in this blueprint, what we will do after understanding how much, what are the software they need, what are the supports they need that we are creating. Then what we are doing, we will go. So we will go and check with this, uh, check with this people. We will show and explain this to our client. So what they are doing, we are realizing what it is done. Any changes it is done, any changes if it is done, they will then after changes we done we say it as final preparation final preparation of the software then we go with the go live and support that is called as start to use your sap software the same thing let me show you step by step what it is happening okay as app accelerated methodology accelerated methodology how a business takes or use this sap now here comes so this sap is used where the first phase project preparations what they are doing they will have a committee meeting with the project and the consultants regarding how they are going to held up so once they discuss internally then they'll go for they'll give this uh, they will be giving all this information to the sap company now this SAP will do what? It will understand what is the concern of a business, what is the company's intent to do, which are the support I have to give as per the business. So these details it will collect, initial uh, details it will collect in the meeting. That is after this they will prepare a uh, blueprint. So what they have to establish then. This the th in the third phase whatever they will do, that is in a realization. They'll talk to the stakeholders, uh, that is what I said, shareholders, debenture holders, investor. They have to take a confirmation whether they are fine with that or what. After the final confirmation from this people, we will be making all the changes what this investor or the people who is telling of the company, the client is saying. According to that, the changes made, then what we are going to do, go like, okay. This is what the takes place. I say that we are going to use uh, this start to you. We are we will be starting to use SAP, right? We will be starting to use SAP. But how you will know? It is a new software. How you will start to use this, right? How you are going to use this? This is another question. So after developing all these things based on a client requirement. A person from SAP, SAP who has developed it, so who has assigned it, 
will come and train to the company. Okay, they themselves will come and train to the people for means train to the people means the company people, the client people, they'll train how to use it to the related departments. So they will uh, uh, SAP developer, right? A SAP developer or the person who has done this, he will be coming here and he will be explaining to the company staff how to use. So this is what we say it as go live. If anybody has a doubt, you can tell me here. Girls. See, uh, you have to respond to me. I'm continuously talking and ex trying to explain you the concept. I don't know whether you people are able to understand or not. If any does, please let me know. Let's continue then. Um, can you show the fourth phase once again? Fourth phase, sure, ma. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So this is how it takes place. And I don't want to go with the history, how it was working. In case if you want, I can explain it. This is nothing but how it has been developed. But you have to know this three tier architecture. Uh, okay, three tier architecture. That means how the process taken place. So First, in 1972, they started a financial accounting software. It was having one presentation layer, one application layer, one database. So before we know what is this presentation layer, application layer, I mean, what is this three-tier architecture, we have to know. Presentation, presentation layer means how you see the screen. We see through the monitor. What is this monitor is into? which software so whenever you start a system we have this windows so might be you people are using windows mac or any other operating system so that operating system we call it as gui graphical user interface graphical user interface so based on which software which os operating system you are using based on that we say it as presentation layer in which screen all this uh, options will be displayed how whether the system has been supported or not so that and based on that only we will design so presentation layer second one comes as an application layer application means it is a software it is a software in which you are working right so presentation layer okay let me give you an example like this so we all use a mobile phone when we turn off uh, and then turn on Right? When we switch off and on, what happens here, we will get a, a brand, say like um, Apple, that is powered by iPhone, Oppo, powered by Android, right? Uh, MI, um, or Vivo, anything you do, it will show you powered by Android. So Android is what? Android is a software. It is a software. That is which one? Graphical user software. That is used to run your mobile so in the mobile, we have an application. What are applications? We have a contact, we have a message, we have a, a Insta, we have what a Flipkart if you want, you will download, WhatsApp you will download. So like this, there are many other softwares. So all this application app, we say it as app. So that is nothing but your applications. So this application which we use for running. So this application is something where we work okay presentation is running the screen is running i'm using the software to work yes so where whatever the work i do in a second step application layer where it is being saved so it has been saved in a database 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 means uh, storage where all your data will be stored so application is something which acts between the presentation and the database this is but we will be working in second layer only application layer 
presentation layer, application layer, database layer. So this history has taken the same place. So there was only one server. One server means a server is where all your database will be saved. So to save all this database, whatever the activities, whatever I'm recording in my uh, system, say you will be posting reels, you will be watching reels, uh, like you are giving, you are giving a comment, all these things, where it is saved, it is saved in a database. Where you are doing, you are doing in an Insta. Where you are seeing in your mobile. So this is what is the concept. Now, after that, they use one presentation, but two application to run the device. They started using two applications, which was giving a uh, other activities like server can run very fast for that they have used. And again, two application and three database for running this. So that is what we call it as three tier architecture, presentation layer, application layer, database. Now, which one we are using? We are using S4 HANA. It is not FICO. The latest one is S4 HANA. Okay, so here we are not using a server in S4 HANA. There is no server. It is completely working on cloud. You all know what is cloud? You know what is cloud system? Anybody can answer me? Yes. Okay. The cloud means I can use the application anywhere in any system. But when it is a database, you have to use in that particular system only. That is what. Say example, I can go and log in in any system and I can use. So that is where it happens with the cloud system. And all my data will be saved, saved in a cloud. That means I can access from anywhere. But database, only that place it will support, it will not support in any other place. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, no, say something. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, take a break for five minutes. We will continue.
Okay, uh, girls. So here ends the SAP introduction. Also, I have to start with the practical. Are you fine if I start the practical now? Yes, ma'am. We'll start the practical then. Okay. Before uh, that, let me ask you all: Did you all get installed with uh, like uh, SAP has been installed to your system? Not at all. No, ma'am. No, no ma'am. Ma not even for any one of the uh, one or one also ma'am for me it is uh, installed ma'am the software only akshay so see okay might be for you people if, if it is not installed might be the storage is less we require yes, at least 250 gb it is not mb 250 gb storage is required in case if you are not able to add the storage you can use a hard disk additional hard disk you can add up which is having at least 300 gb uh, you will get right you can uh, copy sap software to that also i'm suggesting you it is if at all you want to use sap for your system to run this sap you can have the solution might be if your system software I means the storage is not sufficient you can use this method hard disk because even i use hard disk only even my system storage it is too less i cannot run it so i'm using a additional hard disk only it is your wish whether you want to go with the hard disk or additional hard disk i'm saying additional hard disk or you want to increase your storage anything that it is your wish okay so let's go with this <coughs> so the last one concept which i have not yet explained you i'll explain you that also so in sap we have two people one is sap consultant and the other person is sap end user okay sap consultant and sap end user so who is this consultant who is this end user any people who work on this functional model functional model just updating the activities just doing a data entries then he becomes a end user only recording the person who do uh, data entry who do data uh, update data update you can say data entry you can say or one who is doing the updation of transactions also you can say that person becomes a end user so who is this consultant one who works one who works on live project live project that means i said you there is a person who develops the software a uh, planning will be done and he is the one who will assign the task he is the person who is going to train so this abap methodology asap methodology which i explain a person who, and who is in charge of developing a software for a client and works on a project that person will become a consultant both are different person okay both are different person if you want to become a sap user that is end user you can become if you work on a live project by developing some client's database then you can become a consultant for both you have to write a exam this is only once in a while you can write and this will cost you around uh, 30 lakhs or 40 lakhs for one exam but only one attempt you can give again for the next attempt you have to again pay the um fees okay so sap consultant exam fee we'll see how much it shows but as per me that means my knowledge it is something around see this is only for which one in a institution if you are doing but if you take a uh, examination examination in sap company itself sap company itself as a consultant or as a user <clears throat> let's see how much here is there is no much details here uh 
okay so the fees is like this it will have something around uh, 30 lakhs to 40 lakhs for one exam only one attempt okay one attempt after you uh, in case if you couldn't pass you have to take one more exam so we are only the end user we are not a consultant we are going to be a end user so see here, 3 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 15,000 it is showing you here. I saw just now, see, global certification cost, 3 lakh, 15,000, which will be different from institution to institution. Means this is from the institution side, not from the SAP company. For SAP company, it is uh, different. So it is 30 lakhs, some 4 lakhs, 5 lakhs for end user and 40 to 50 lakhs for consultant. Only one attempt you will be having. So this is a fee structure. Okay, now what we are going to do is we will see how to log in. I think it is already 7.41. Okay, let me stop till here. I don't want to confuse you with the practical also. From next class, we will continue with the practical, right? Is it fine to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And then from tomorrow, we will have a practical. And then that's all for today. Check with all the uh, things what we have discussed. If any doubts, you can ask me in tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow's class, you can ask me. Find that. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. See you later. Mom, can you share the video of the class which you have recorded? Yesterday's or today's, ma? Today's, ma. Today's, yeah, it will be shared by tomorrow. Yesterday's video you have got? No. Okay. No, so ma yesterday's and today's, both the things you will be getting by tomorrow. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Sure, ma'am.